So this is a display that the Home Builders and Remodelers Association of Northern Vermont put together and it shows some of the uh, great details that are used in an energy efficient home or building. Um, raised heel trusses, SIP panels, um, interior membranes, uh, heat exchange and heat recovery systems. So just a, a great display so you can see some of the technology that's used to create a super insulated home. But this is a raised heel truss and as you can see where it hits the top of the wall there's still it looks like about two feet of insulation that can be uh, filled into that cavity. So normally um, when it hit the top of the wall you would have just a two by four up there so there would be almost no insulation maybe two inches or so. Uh, but this year actually getting two feet of insulation uh, above that top plate which is the top of the wall where the ceiling starts. So this is the the Intello product and what it does is it actually changes the permeability based on how much moisture is in the wall. So if you happen to have a lot of uh, moisture building up inside the wall the pores in here will actually get larger and that'll allow drying to happen quicker to the inside. So they call it Intello because it's like an intelligent uh, air barrier. This is what's meant by a double stud wall. So you have a stud to the inside and a stud to the exterior. And then um, instead of having a top plate that connects the two, they just have a thin sheet of plywood. So that is the only thermal transfer you have from the exterior of the building to the interior of the building. And this whole cavity would be filled with insulation so this would give you very little thermal bridging and a lot of insulation value. So this is part of a energy recovery ventilator or a heat recovery ventilator, HRV or ERV. This is the Zender model where they uh, actually run the air all the way from each of these diffusers all the way back to their unit. Um, so this unit has uh, two tubes going into it, so that's supplying fresh air for a larger room or a bedroom. Basically what it's doing is it's taking the stale warm air from inside the house and it is sending it outside, but at the same time it's bringing cold fresh air inside and the two pass by each other and transfer their heat. So that's the heat recovery. The Zender model is up to 93% efficient. So you're almost getting 100% recovery. So the air going out is 70 degrees. The air coming in is going to be in the high 60 degree range. Over here, there's a, uh, a small diffuser. So this would be located typically in a bedroom and uh, just a little bit more discreet than the, the higher wall mounted version. So this is a, uh, an optional roof system. So you can see there is um, an eye shaped, that's called an eye joist. And those are normally used for floor joists, but here they're using it in the roofing. And again, what that does is that reduces the amount of cold that is thermal bridging from the inside of the building to the outside. So it has that very narrow plywood web in the center. Um, otherwise, if that was a full solid two by six, there would be you know two and a half inches or three and a half inches of uh, of wood connecting from inside to outside. And then uh, on the exterior, there's actually a SIP panel. So a SIP panel is a structurally insulated panel and that has the plywood on the outside. This is an EPS SIP panel, so an extruded polystyrene core. And then uh, that's attached to the rafters. So a very super insulated roof here. Um, we have, it looks like at least 12 or 16 inches of uh, cellulose and then another six or eight inches of EPS insulation. So you can see um, there's a lot of this blue stuff on here. So that's a, a tape and it's a acrylic based tape and it's very sticky, but better than that, it's also air sealing. Um, so at the joints in the, the plywood here to the uh, interior air barrier, as well as at the joints of the barrier itself. So this is ensuring that we have a nice airtight seal all the way around all of these connection points throughout the building.